The Document Generation Wizard enables you to perform batch processing of target sales documents. The wizard recommends a simple way to include rows from several base documents into a single target document according to the parameters you define. Some target documents such as AR invoices and deliveries cannot be changed after you added them. To access the Document Generation Wizard, navigate to Main Menu, Sales AR, and click on Document Generation Wizard. The wizard will guide you step by step to the definition of parameters required to generate the documents. Click Next. The Document Generation Wizard lets you save the defined parameter set. First, you enter and save numerous parameters for base and target documents. Based on those definitions, you can then select consolidation methods and choose a list of relevant business partners. Once you have saved the defined parameter set, you can run the wizard periodically according to your company's business practices. As a note, the document generation wizard does not support all currency business partners. In the document generation options window, we will define whether to generate the wizard for target documents according to an existing parameter or a new parameter set. In New Parameter, select to define new parameters of the wizard run. If you already have an existing parameter, select this option to load predefined parameters. When you run the wizard for the first time, this option is disabled. In the Set Name field, enter the name for a new parameter set to identify it later. In Set Description, enter the description for a new parameter set. Click Next. In the Target Document window, we will specify the document type and the characteristics of the target documents. As a note, in each wizard run, you can choose only one target document type. Under Target Document, specify a document type by clicking the arrow and choosing one of the following. Sales Order, Delivery, Returns, or AR Invoice. For our example, I will select AR Invoice. In the Posting Date field, enter the posting date on which the target document will be created. By default, this field displays the current date. On Document Date field, specify the document creation date of the target document. By default, this field displays the current date. Under Series field, the series of the document type is shown. The value appears after you choose a document type. If required, you can change the series. You may select either a Items or Service Type AR Invoice. Under Items field, it determines the type of target rows that will consolidate the base rows. To choose one of the Summary Displays options, click on the drop-down menu. You would have No Summary, Summary by Items, or Summary by Documents. Under Service, you have No Summary and only Summary by Documents. In the Exchange Rate field, Select the method for setting the exchange rate of the target rows, if applies. If you like to create draft documents, select the Create Draft Documents checkbox. Otherwise, click Next. In the Base Documents window, we will define base documents that you want to process. Choose the appropriate document types and other selection criteria. SAP Business One always selects base documents according to all criteria defined in the general area and on the logistics and accounting tabs of each document. If you create an invoice or delivery based on sales order with batch managed items, you must allocate batch numbers for the entire quantity of the batch managed items. In the Document Types field, it displays the list of document types you can choose as base documents. In this example, we have sales quotations, sales orders, and deliveries. For our example, we will select deliveries. In both posting date and delivery date fields, specify a range of posting dates and delivery dates to include in the wizard run. In the series field, if you have selected one document only, it will display the series of the base document. If required, you can change the value. If you selected more than one document type, this field is disabled. You may expand the selection criteria by selecting the Expand Selection Criteria checkbox. With the Expanded Selection Criteria checkbox marked, it will display additional selection criteria fields. SAP Business One copies base documents that match the additional selection criteria to target documents. 
No matter how many of the expanded selection criteria you choose, the selected base documents match each of the criteria. Under the Sort By field, select the fields according to which the Document Generation Wizard processes documents that are considered for the run. You can select up to three sorting parameters in their sorting order. In our example, we have sorted by due date, posting date, and document amount. The application first arranges the documents according to their due date. Then, within a specified due date, it sorts according to the posting date. And finally, within a specified posting date, it sorts by the document amount value. You may also select checkbox do not create documents containing zero quantity lines or no lines by selecting the checkbox. If you're satisfied with the criteria, click Next. In the Consolidations window, define the criteria for consolidating base documents into target documents. You may also choose to create one target document for each base document rather than consolidating. In the main window, we see that some fields are grayed out. By default, these already appear selected. The application consolidates all base rows with the same system defaults into the target document. On the left, Consolidate By, the available check fields are Ship to Address. This consolidates all base rows with the same Ship to Address entry into one target document. Payment Terms checkbox consolidates all base documents with the same payment terms into one target document. If you do not select this parameter, the application consolidates base documents with different payment terms into one target document. In this document, the payment terms are those that you have defined for the customer. The Payment Method checkbox, it consolidates all base documents with the same payment method into one target document. If you do not select this parameter, the system consolidates base documents with different payment methods into one target document. In this document, the payment method is the one that you have defined as default for the customer. As in the previous window, the Expand Consolidation options will allow for additional selection criteria. In our example, we'll consolidate by the system defaults along with Ship to Address. If you're satisfied with the selection criteria, click Next. In the Customers window, select those customers for whom you want to perform a summary. By clicking the Add Customers button, you are provided with the Business Partner Selection Criteria. Here, you're able to include the BP code from and to range. You're also able to use, instead, a customer group, and if you like, properties are also available. For our example, we're going to use the customer group, Large Accounts. If you're satisfied with the selection, click OK. If you're satisfied with the customer selection, click Next. Messages and Alerts window. Use this window to define how SAP Business One responds to missing data, bookkeeping, or inventory. In our first choice, missing data, we must select a response for missing data, such as, for example, an exchange rate. If you were to select Skip to Next Document, it will proceed with the same business partner, but it will skip the current document. If you were to select Skip to Next Customer, it would skip the current customer and proceed to the next one. If you select Ask for User Confirmation, it will request the user for confirming before proceeding. Under Bookkeeping, select a response to bookkeeping alerts such as deviation from credit limit. Skip to Next Document it will proceed with the same business partner, but it will skip the current document. If you were to select Skip to Next Customer, it would skip the current customer and proceed to the next one. If you select Ask for User Confirmation, it will request a user confirmation before proceeding. Lastly, Inventory. Select a response for inventory alerts, such as releasing inventory below the minimum level. If you were to select Skip to the next document, it will proceed with the same business partner, but it will skip the current document. If you were to select Skip to next customer, it would skip the current customer and proceed to the next one. If you select Ask for User Confirmation, the system would request the user confirmation before proceeding. Once you are happy with the selections you've made, click Next. In the Save and Execute Options window, use this window to do one of the following. Execute the wizard, save the parameters you have set, and execute the wizard, or save the parameters for a future run and exit. 
If you select Execute, the application will execute the document generation wizard and not save the parameters. If you select Save Parameter Set in Execute, the application saves the parameter before you execute the wizard. As we have done previously, you will need to enter a name and description for the parameter set. If you have already done this on step one, they will appear by default. If you select Save Parameter Set in Exit, it will save the parameter set for future run and exits the wizard. For our example, we will save parameter set and execute. Once you're happy with the selections, click Next. A system message populates, running this wizard results in the creation of number of documents. You cannot cancel this operation. Would you like to continue? To generate the target documents and move to the next step, choose Yes. To remain in the current window, choose No. In our example, we will select Yes. In the Summer Report window, we are able to view the summary of target documents created per customer, as well as error and warning messages. We also see the AR Invoice 1063, created from the consolidation of two deliveries, deliveries 1172 and 1170. AR 1064, created from one delivery, delivery 1171. If you like to open the actual AR invoices, navigate to Sales AR and open AR Invoice. By selecting the last data record, we're able to verify AR Invoice 1064, which is related to Delivery 1171. By going back one record, we also see AR Invoice 1063 that is based on deliveries 170 and 1172. To exit the wizard, click Finish. Document Generation Wizard is one of many tools that SAP Business One offers to automate and make your process flows more streamlined and easier. Join us as we help you learn more about SAP Business One has to offer by clicking the subscribe button and don't forget to turn on the notifications bell so you never miss a new video. As an SAP Gold Partner, LBSI can help you take full advantage of everything the system has to offer. To get in contact with us, visit our website at www.lbsi.com and navigate to the contact link. You can also email us at sales at lbsi.com for sales related inquiries or SAP support at lbsi.com if you're an existing client in need of support assistance.